Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel dedicated to the Borrower games. I hope you could see my previous introductory video about Lion of Judah, in which I dealt with the components. If you couldn't uh, see that, well, you will be able to see it uh, uh, by browsing my channel. Well, what about Lion of Judah? Well, Lion of Judah has been designed by Javier Romero, a Spanish designer, and uh, is about two military campaigns that were fought in the so-called African Horn. I have uh, just played the 1935-36 scenario in which the Italian army is opposed to the Ethiopians. Selassie achieved a tactical victory because of the high losses the Italians suffered. Apparently, the scenario seems unbalanced, but the Ethiopian army could do something to stop the Italian war machine. However, it's not my intention to show up the strategies to apply, but I want only to explain the mechanics. As usual, I always recommend not to read carefully the, uh, the playbook, the, the booklet rules, but to apply the technique called skimming and scanning. Uh, that is, well, please uh, browse the manual and try to highlight only the basic rules you need. In short, read for gist. Well, um, I, want to, um, I want to shoot three videos uh, about the mechanics that you find in Lion of Judah. I want to have uh, shorter videos than the Italian version. So I'm starting with the uh, setup. I'm going to illustrate uh, the uh, five phases that make up uh, uh, an entire turn. And then I'm going to um, analyze the final phase. In a second video, I'm going, on the contrary, to show the players uh, the Italian movement and combat, and I'm going to do the same as regards the Ethiopian army. So let's start with the uh, initial setup. Well, I want to show you some uh, images about the complete setup that uh, it takes about uh, uh, 20 minutes. Well, please remember that we can divide the, uh, the map into two uh, well-defined fronts. We have a northern front uh, where you can place the Italian units, uh, the country called Eritrea, and then you have a southern front called Italian Somaliland. Obviously, the uh, Ethiopian territory is defended by Selassie and the other uh, tribes' chiefs. Well, uh, what about uh, the five phases that uh, compose uh, uh, an entire turn? Well, guys, uh, it's enough to have a look at uh, the uh, expanded sequence of play that uh, you find in the last page of the standard rules and you have to follow this sequence step by step. Well, the first phase is called the mutual administration phase. You can use, I'm going to use the acronym MAP, MAP, and uh, you don't find anything or difficult to understand. You have to add the new events. I'm going to uh, explain later uh, something about the events. You have to enter the uh, reinforcement. Uh, you can replenish, uh, rebuild the units, consolidate or break down units, motorize or disembark units, add or remove tracks, build the roads, and you can also execute uh, naval and railroad movement. That's all. Please remember that uh, in light brown, uh, these uh, rules uh, uh, regard the, um, the scenario 1940-1941. On the contrary, 
a phase that uh, can be considered new to the system, to a traditional system, is the second phase called event phase. Well, uh, what's this event phase? Well, actually, uh, you have uh, to, um, to determine uh, at the beginning of each turn an event that can affect the combat operation. Well, you can see the five starting events. At the beginning of the turn number five, you have to uh, add other three events and when you draw uh, an event sheet, you have to consider the uh, random events summary and you have uh, obviously to determine what happens with the uh, new event. Well, I'm going to exit this phase, for example, well, uh, event A2, well, it's the event concerning the rebellion, well, actually, um, this uh, event, well, uh, um, underlines or points out the uh, possibility that some Ethiopian tribe, uh, rebel Selassie, and uh, um, make an alliance uh, with the Italian army. And actually, you have to place some units uh, in the uh, hexagon uh, 9, 10. Well, I don't uh, suggest to place, uh, even if it's possible, to place these two uh, rebel tribes uh, here in uh, 1012. Why? Because when you have two Italian units within Selassie, well, Selassie is automatically activated. On the contrary, uh, Selassie uh, could be activated only starting from the turn 4. So it's better placing these rebel tribes here in uh, 910. Well, event phase, then we have the, uh, a traditional movement and combat segment nothing of difficult to understand. Please remember that uh, the Italian army can use uh, air points and resource points to increase uh, the, um, the combat, the columns, the shifts of columns on the combat chart. Please remember that there is a, a um, general combat chart and there is another combat chart that is used only by the Ethiopian army when it attacks. Then following we have a second player phase uh, where there is a movement segment and uh, a following uh, possible comma segment of the Ethiopian player. Nothing of difficult. Please remember that at the beginning of the game, well, you place the Ethiopian unit uh, with the, um, a sort of question mark and it's a sort of unknown units and when this unit is involved in combat you have to flip it to discover its real strength so in this case we have at the beginning a question mark and then if this unit is involved in the combat well its value is equal to two so please remember this other um, uh, peculiar rule that concerns the uh, Ethiopian units. Well, after the, uh, the phase, the Ethiopian phase, uh, movement uh, and combat, please remember that uh, uh, the Ethiopian players uh, uh, once in, uh, in the scenario can do the so-called grand offensive. Actually, uh, the Ethiopian player can attack by shifting automatically uh, one, uh, two columns in his favor. So it's an offensive that can um, stop the Italian offensive. And then the fifth phase of our um, turn is the end of turn phase where you have to check supply, you can flip all HQs to their CSI. What does it mean? Well, actually, please remember that when you want to move, and these uh, concerns, above all, the Italian army, your HQ, well, you have uh, generally to flip an HQ unit. Well, please note, 
uh, zero movement points, but on the contrary, uh, four movement points in uh, uh, move in mode uh, in movement mode. Please remember that in every case you can always move a one hex your HQ units. And uh, uh, so in this phase, you flip the, um, the HQ, you have the attrition check about the Ethiopian units. Obviously, please remember that the stacking of the Ethiopian units is 7. If you, um, if you are over this limit, you have to check for attrition. You have to remove all the marks. And then, uh, finally, well, the turn is over. And, uh, well, guys, uh, that's all uh, for the moment uh, by considering this uh, introduction to the mechanics. And uh, uh, coming soon, the second video about uh, uh, the, co the movement uh, and combat uh, phases concerning both the Italian army and the Ethiopian one. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned. Bye.